Hey guys, um, so today we're going to quickly show you how to use um, the Ninja 3D Max Dual Zone 9.5 litre air fryer. So that's the AF400 UK model. So this machine has two drawers, doesn't it? Um, so that allows you to either cook things at the same time at the same temperatures or cook things with different times and different temperatures and also different settings. So we're going to show you how to do that now. So firstly, to turn the machine on, we just press the on button. That will then light up drawer number one. So if for some reason, I don't know why, but if you didn't want to use the left hand drawer, drawer one, you wanted to use the, the drawer two instead, you just press the on button and you would just hit drawer two and you do exactly the same thing on the other side. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is decide which setting you're going to use. So you can either have max crisp, air fry, roast, bake, reheat, or dehydrate. And then to select which one you want, you just turn this dial left or right. As you can see there, it's adjusting the um, temperatures for each different setting, 240 degrees C for max crisp. But let's just go with the air fry setting, just for the purposes of this video. Um, so then you can adjust your temperature. So at the minute, it's at 200 deg degrees for the air fry setting. Uh, you can adjust that up and down. So we're going down to 180, or you can go up to say 210. Um, so that's how you adjust the heat. And then to adjust the time, you then press the up and down arrows. It will set it. Um, as standard to 20 but then if you press it up and down look it goes down to 18 all the way down to zero or one minute you know and then up as long as you like really and if you hold the button down it'll also go up in bigger chunks as well to save you having to tap it a hundred times once you've set it up to your desired temperature and time you then just hit this middle dial well not hit it press it and it, turns, it sets the air fryer going. Uh, to stop it again, you can either, if you want to pause it during cooking, you can either remove the drawer, and then once you put it back in, it will start to cook again, or you can simply hit the button in the middle again to end it. So if you're wanting to cook the same foods in both drawers, so say you're wanting a lot of chips and you want to put loads in both drawers and you're going to use the same cooking time and the same cooking temperature and also the same setting, uh, one of these settings here, then you can use the match feature. Um, you can also use the match feature to cook different foods that are going to finish at the same time and using the same settings and everything. So it doesn't have to be the same food, but just that are going to use the same settings. So to do that, um, we just set draw one up again as usual as we did a minute ago. So we'll just do that now. So I'll go for roast and then I'll just put the time up to say 20 minutes, temperature up to 200. And then if I press match, it just does exactly the same on the other drawer for me um, so to make it nice and easy. And then again, we press the button and it will just set the machine off. Cooking in the same settings in both drawers at the same time. So now we go to the sink feature. Now this is a little bit different because it allows you to use different settings um, on different drawers um, and different type cooking times as well. The, the aim of that is to get all your food finishing and ready to serve at the same time. So let's go for max crisp on one drawer. Um, because the temperature is set on that one, it doesn't change, it's always 240 degrees. We're just gonna change the time on that. Um, so we'll put it up to say 15 minutes or 16 minutes. Then you just press draw two. And again, you will select a setting. So if we select on this one, if we want air fry in the other one, um, we can just put the temperature where we want it to be. So we could put the temperature at say 170. And with this time we're gonna have a different time on it. So we'll put it up to say 30 minutes on that one. Um, if, that, if that one's gonna be cooking for longer. So then we just press sync. And then when we're ready to go, it will set the drawer with the highest cooking time off first. And then when it reaches 16 minutes to go, it will set the other drawer off so that they finish at the same time as we see now. Obviously press that button in the middle again to start it off. We can see it's put this drawer one on hold until this drawer two has reached the time when it needs to match it. Then when it reaches the time when it's time to set drawer one off, it will do that automatically and it will, they will both finish at the same time. Just something we thought it was worth mentioning by the way, if you do open one of the drawers um, to maybe shake it around or something, when you pull the drawer out, it will stop both drawers. Um, that allows it then to finish both drawers at the same time um, so that you're not cooking one while the other one is losing heat. If you are in like an Airbnb or something and you do see one of these lying around, then it's good that you know that inside of that there's recipes but also settings, cooking times for different food items. So that's handy to know. 
And then when you're finished and it comes to clean it, uh, you need to remove this inner um, cooking plate in here um, and just wash the drawers out with hot soapy water. Don't use anything abrasive um, and try and avoid using the dishwasher. They, these drawers are dishwasher safe, but they recommend really that you hand wash them. So we hope that video has helped you out. If it has, please do give it a like. Um, if for some reason your Ninja looks a little bit different to this, it may be the smaller model, the 7.6 litre. Uh, we have a video of that on the channel, so I'll link to that above now, just in case that's the one you're looking for. Um, but please do subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the notification bell, um, and thanks for watching, and bye for now.